Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, the post lady has just delivered me a package. And I thought, right, I'm going to come up here and open it and see what we've got. It feels like a diamond painting box, but I'm not sure what it is or where I've ordered it from. So, let's get into it and have a look. Not sure, not sure. Let's see if we can open this package. Okay. Oh, oh, jazzy box. Right, nice lots of colours on it. DIY. Let light shine brighter diamond painting. Oh, okay. So, quite a big box, quite a nice box. Oh, very nice box. Lots of colours on it. So, I wonder which one this is. Just put those out of the way a second. Mm. But well, seems it's a box and it's just arrived today. I will open it and we'll have a look together. Oops, I'm going to get in. I don't want to tear the box. Oh, oh! I think we've got we've got two diamond paintings in here. So where have I ordered two diamond paintings from? <laughs> I think the better question would be, where have I ordered more than one diamond painting from? <laughs> okay, I do like that box. That's a really good, sturdy box. <gasps> Is it an age thing that you start liking cardboard boxes? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, I know what they are. I know what they are. Oh, wow. Okay. So these have come from Amazon. Yes, I do know what they are. Let me just get my details and I'll be back in a sec. Right, these are 40 by 50 and they're poured glue. And they are from the Bing Zingu store. I do apologise for the way I've pronounced that. Um, I will put all the links down below uh, on Amazon. And... You know my other obsession, apart from diamond painting. And when you see what I've got, you'll fully understand why. Just move that one out of the way a second. Okay, I'll have to open it this way because it's 40 by 50. Oh, look. Oh, sorry for the glare. You've got a little scary dog. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a little portrait of a little scotty dog just looking sideways. Look at that. Oh, that's such a cutie. Oh, and I'm so pleased that it's poured glue. Wow. Oh, look at that little nose. I can't wait to get this one done. So that is the little thumbnail there. Little cute scotty dog. Let's see if I can flatten this out a bit. Uh, I wonder if I should have closed my curtains a bit. I wonder if I should close my blinds a bit to stop a bit of glare. I'll see how we go once I've got it flattened. Oh, this is very sloppy. But oh, it's a lovely canvas. A really good canvas. Oh, I'm so pleased. I've had these on order since way before Christmas. Um, and you always sort of just think you order things before Christmas and they don't arrive. You think, oh, has it got lost in the Christmas post? Oh, that's a really good, I think I've got a really good picture of that now. That looks brilliant on camera. Wow. Oh, I love my Scotties. Uh, I need a bigger wall for my Scotty wall. I think we're going to start filling out the rest of the house. What can I say? Uh, yeah, now I didn't use any coupons or any vouchers or get any discounts on these. As soon as I see Scotty pictures, I think, yes, I've got to have them. <laughs> so this one is 21 colours. That's not a lot of colours. Uh, we have got lovely clear drill uh, key code there all down the side and all DMC codes there as well. And again, not one three ten. I say it always amazes me how many pictures of Scotties and animals and dogs and things you get that have no black in them whatsoever. When this is predominantly a black dog, uh, but this area here, I don't know whether the camera can pick it up, all looks very very dark blue. 
and we've got a lot of different shading and different colouring so hopefully it will stand out and not be too dark you can lose quite a bit of detail um, looks like the whole of the background all of this round here and all of this round here is all going to be the letter T which is 3865 so your off-white is going to uh, well frame it basically around the edges but yeah, totally just love that little picture. How could I resist? And I am going bigger look rather than 30 by 40. I've gone 40 by 50. I am increasing in size a little bit. I will get to those bigger ones eventually, but I just enjoy the smaller ones. It's your hobby and whatever you enjoy doing, if you only enjoy doing 30 by 30s, then just do 30 by 30s. Don't let anybody tell you any different. It is entirely up to you. And don't let anybody tell you that you're not a proper diamond painter if you don't do the huge canvases. Because I've only done one huge canvas. Uh, and it took me forever. And I do prefer being able to finish a little bit quicker and uh, just get the enjoyment from it. Plus it fits on my table better as well. <laughs> well, that's my excuse and I was digging to it. Okay, so let's have a look at Darrell's and talk it. So we've got a little flat bottom white boat, we have a little square of wax and we have a little clear pen. Uh, no multi placers or grip seal bags or anything. Oh, I think we've got a multi placer in here. We, so I do tell stories. Excuse me. I heard it rattle. I can't see it, but I heard it rattle. Oh, we've got two multi placers. Okay, the old style, slightly thicker ones. And that one, let me get a little chart out. Where is it? got a bit more organised. I've got everything in my drawer now so I've not got things on shelves to fall off and tables to disappear. So this one is a, that's a nine placer that we've got there and I think this looks like it's a three and a three placer. So we've got a nine and a three placer. Um, I think with this background with it being a lighter colour I may single place, I may multi place. I will have to have a look when I get around to it. I think I'm up to about 10 different Scotty pictures that I have to do at the minute. <sighs> oh dear. <laughs> and I want to do them all now. Who needs to eat and sleep and look after hubby? <laughs> oh no, please tell me. Oh no. So we found our first down point. Okay, it does come with an inventory sheet. Oh, that's a little dinky one. I like that one. That's about an A5 size uh, little dinky sheet there. Uh, tells me how many bags we've got, how many diamonds are possibly in them. And again, you can use those for your uh, kitting up. I like to use them on my little bottles. And let's see. So what have we got the most of? We've got nine of number 10. Now this is telling me I've only got six packs of number 21, which was the 3865. So they must be bigger bags. Because that's telling me 2,921. And then it's telling me 939 is 4,472. Oh, so it's telling me 939 is nearly double what that is. That's unusual. That will be interesting to see how that works out. But yes, it's all in, well, they're not the little ti teeny tiny bags, but they are all in loose little bags with gold numbers on. And I tend to find, I don't know about you, that the gold actually rubs off on these numbers if you're not careful. So I'm not going to handle these very much because I have found in the past that, yeah, you can see a little bit there, look, on that uh, black. I don't know if you can see that three is starting to wear off a little bit and there's a little chunk missing out one of the nines as well so i'm not going to take all these colors out but i think you can sort of see i mean it is a muted color palette it's creams and oranges it's uh, the white and the greys and the blues and the darker colors we've got a little bit of green there as well what's that color for then where does that go that one is 3770, which is Q, which is showing as a dark colour. 
so that will be interesting. Um, I think that's a queue there. Mm, that's going to be very interesting. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how this highlights because there's quite a few of those. Yeah, this, uh, this, well, there's three packs, so there's a thousand drills. It sounds a lot, but when you actually get down painting, it's not at all, is it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that back in there. I can see what that one is. So, one point off for the little bags all being separate. It just makes kitting up that little bit uh, longer because they're all in separate funny little bags. Um, I will check my inventory sheet as well. But the canvas, I love. The picture, I love. Uh, Toolkit, what shall we give that? So we've got one. Well, I know that's a two because that's a, a white boat. So we've got a two, three, four, five. We'll give that one a six. Okay. Right, so let's have a look at the next one. And these cost me £16.79 and pence each. As I say, I, um, I didn't use any coupons or vouchers or anything because I just saw them and had to have them. So I think you can probably guess what this one is as well. They're both from the same store. They have taken a long time to come. So I don't like the box. I still like the box. <laughs> Okay, ooh, this one looks a bit darker and this one has got 310 in it. So this one, ooh, I wonder if we'll get any definition on this one. Possibly I should have gone bigger with this one. There were different size options on this, so it will be interesting to see. Looks like we've got exactly the same toolkit. Yeah, that looks like a, oh, that looks bigger than an eye. Let me just double check. No, oh, no, it's just my eyes. It is a nine. Oops, all fingers and thumb. Yeah, it is a nine, so it's just my eyes. <laughs> it looked bigger than I thought. Oh dear. Right, so let's get this one flattened out as well. Yeah, this one's in the little baggy. So, and I suppose it's the same place, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, let's get this flattened down. feeling there that the definition might not quite come out on this one they're a lovely soft canvas and uh, they've not got any of the soft coated backing or anything but the actual canvas feels nice and pliable and soft which is good it means you're not having to fight with it quite so much and you're unrolling it but these will all go in my folders Keep all of my diamond paintings to do in separate folders. Okay, this one will go in the 40, 40 by 50 and the larger folder. Right, so this is the thumbnail of the picture. As you can see, very, very dark around the face and the muzzle. <laughs> okay. Uh, although now looking at it this way, oh yeah, you can sort of see the definition of the face and the beard. And we've got the nose in the middle and the eyes, so it's going to depend. Just tilt that that way slightly. It's going to depend on the shading and where they put the different colours around the face to get the definition. It's like we're sat on a coloured mat down here. But these just look so, I mean, I, unless you're a Scottione, you maybe... We'll see how that they all look different um, and they are all different albeit when we go to um, our Scotty garden parties and Christmas parties yes we go to garden parties and Christmas parties and meet up with the Scotty owners and um, then yeah you do sometimes look twice because you think is that Millie or not uh, but when you look closer you do know your own dog but these are very similar looking to our little Millie Moo uh, so so what have we got? Yep, we've got 3865. But as I say, we have got 310 in this one. So let's have a look. The background, although it looks like it's predominantly... Oh no, it's got quite a few different... Actually, it's got a lot of different colours. So this isn't going to be lots of the same colour to put down. There are quite a few different shades in that as well. So quite a, a different one to do, quite nice to do. 
um, when I get a picture like this, I don't know about you, but I always tend to start off with the plain bit, uh, the boring bit as I call it, and get that out of the way. And then I start filling in with the nice bit afterwards. If I ever do one of those paintings that's like all white or all black around a picture in the middle, uh, I always do the whole of the edge first. <laughs> and then I do the middle bit. It's like saving your favourite sweet till last. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so a little bit more colour in this one. Again, I'm not going to take them out because I don't want to lose those goldy uh, colours. But I think you can see we've got a few more peaches and pinks because the background is peach and pink. And the little rug that uh, he or she is sat on has some like rosy pinks and uh, purples in it actually as well. So this one is only 18 colours. What did I say the last one was? The last one was 21 colours. Um, we're all numbers and capital letters, so that's really good. So 3855 has got five bags. And the most colour is number eight, which is 754, which has got eight bags, which I think is our uh, peachy creamy colour. I think it's this one. Is it this one? I can always look on the bag. Why don't I just look on the bag and see? Ah, you see, look. They've, they've missed it on that one. They've missed it there, look. They've nearly lost it. And this is the other thing I don't like when they print these, that they don't always go through properly. And I have an awful job seeing them. So, yeah. So, that one. Oh, no. So, it's not that one. It must be the other one. Seven. Yeah, that's 754. So, it's that colour that we've got the most bags of. We've got eight bags of that one. So, that's going to be mainly the background. So the background is bigger than the dog on this one. Uh, oh no. I must learn to read. There is eight bags of 310 as well. So the dog is mainly black. Slightly concerned, but again, I think until you actually do a painting, you don't really know how it's going to turn out. So that is our two. Crinkle, crinkle. That's our two Scotty Dog paintings. We have a very dark one, which is mainly black. And we have a larger portrait head, which is mainly blue. <laughs> We're going to have a blue Scotty Dog. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, if you can give me a thumbs up, it would be much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see if I get some of these done, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.